this past weekend, I was in Stanton, Virginia, which if you've never heard of it, me neither. Uh, it's a really small town in the northwestern part of Virginia where my wife's family lives. And I was up there and they have a really historic looking downtown area, which is really cool. So I figured I'd walk around for a little bit and see what kind of pictures I could take. And I was pretty pleased with the pictures I got. I was only walking through downtown taking pictures for about 10 minutes because we were trying to do a lot of things. We're moving a lot. So I didn't really have time to just walk around and really take everything in. But in the short time I was there, I figured I feel that I got some good pictures. And so I had an idea. I actually shared some of the pictures on my Lightroom community. And if you don't know what Lightroom community is, it's where everybody who uses Lightroom that wants to share their pictures, you can remix their pictures, which means you can basically edit their raw files and basically put your own spin on it and they'll be able to see what you did. And it just, it's an opportunity just to kind of connect with other people and see how other creatives create what they do. So what I did is two of the pictures that I took, I put on my Lightroom community tab. I put on Instagram, I said, hey, this is a picture I took. I want to see how you would edit it and, you know, put your own spin on it. And, you know, I wanted all the photographers on my Instagram to, to remix my picture, just to see how they would edit it, see, see how they create. Because one thing is I know that the way I edit is not the, you know, correct way to edit. I mean, I don't think there is a correct way to edit because everybody's going to have their unique style which is really big for photographers and creators in general to let everybody recognize that you are a creator and that you are creative and that people need to allow you to have some creative style about your work. So I was able to post these pictures on Lightroom community, share it on Instagram, and I got some remixes. So what I'm doing today is I'm actually going through these remixes and telling y'all what I think about them. Now, if you remix one of these photos and you watch this video and I say that I don't like it or I say something about it, don't take it personally. Don't take it as I think I'm better than you or anything because the way I edit might not be the way you edit. So, I mean, I but I can still appreciate other ways of editing, but maybe you might have done something that like I wouldn't have necessarily liked, but that's what you like. That's why you have your own thing, you know? But I'm sure I won't say that at all because I'm going to appreciate people even taking their time to even do this. So without further ado, I don't wanna waste any more of your time. Let's jump into it. So this is my Lightroom community page. And as you see, I only have two pictures on here. These are the two pictures that I took in downtown Stanton, Virginia this past weekend. And so first things first, we're going to start with the, the one on the right, which is the train one. And well, before I even dive into that, if you look at the banner, the banner is actually a cityscape that I got of downtown Stanton when I was there. And the way I did that, I didn't even do like a regular panorama. So if you are familiar with Lightroom at all, then you know something called photo merging. So this picture up here is actually 51 pictures merged together to make a panorama. And I thought this was really, really cool. It was actually one of the most liked pictures amongst the people that saw it. I haven't posted it anywhere yet, but when I showed the local people or really just my in-laws and stuff, they're like, yo, this is probably my favorite picture just because it got the whole skyline, uh, essentially the whole city skyline, which is really cool. So as you can see, I'm in Durham, North Carolina. So if you ever need photography in North Carolina, hit me up, I'm your guy. So we're gonna start with this picture right here. And as you can see, once I hover over it, you'll see the raw file and then you'll see what I did with it. So this is the edited, that's the raw, and that's what I did. Um, so now we're going to click on this and it's going to show me the edits that other people did. So as you see down here, we have five edits and we're going to go through these and I'm going to rate them. I wouldn't say critique them because I don't think I'm at the place to critique yet, but I'm gonna rate them. I'm just gonna give you my thoughts on it. So, and feel free to leave down in the comments how you feel about my personal edits because I know mine aren't perfect. Like I said, the way I edit isn't going to be technically right or whatever, but hey, I mean, this is what it is. So this first one here is by, if it'll load. Okay, let's give it some time. I got a slow computer. All right, so this first edit here is by Hillary 
I really don't know how to say the last name. It's by Hillary. <laughs> I'm not even going to try it because I don't want to butcher it. I don't know if that's an L or I. I think it's an I. Ian Contosa? Ian, no, Ian Tosca? I don't know. Sorry. Uh, but she edited this, and it, you see on the right, it shows all she did. She used the Adobe Color uh, Profile. She did, you know, her lighting here with the exposure, the highlights. One thing that I really like about hers is how moody she made it. And wait, what happened? Come on, come back, come back. This is not, okay, technical difficulties. Technical, di technical difficulties. What's happening? Okay, so I got it back. I don't know what just happened there, but I like how moody she made it. You know, the, the shadows and the blacks are really blacked and the colors are not too bright. The, the yellow and the orange, it still has that rustic look to it. And it still kept its integrity, even though it's not as bright. One thing I really like that she did is if you scroll down here, you'll see she created six, six masks to go with this picture. And you'll, you kind of see here where she made the mask. Oh, it highlights. So she created a mask up here. She created a mask 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 here and she created a mask here. Uh, she, she's dope. This is really dope. Uh, Hillary, like I rock with this one, you know, out of 10, I give it like, I give it a 10. I really like that in comparison to mine. See mine, the, the colors are really there. It's still super bright and one thing I do with my editing is I try to keep my editing as close as I can to the natural setting of how it was. So outside it was, I think 10 o'clock in the morning. So it was really, really bright. So I wanted to keep that same feeling of a bright picture. Now there's nothing wrong with making it a moody picture because the way other people edit is gonna be their way of editing but I wanted to keep it bright, which is what I tried to do and try to keep the colors vibrant. It wasn't like super vibrant, but I, I wanted to kind of up those a little bit because I do want to make it some kind of appealing. And the reflection shot just, cause initially when I went to go take this picture, I was like, ah, I see those cards over there, but I don't think it's going to be anything. So I walked over and I was like, okay, how am I going to frame this? And I looked down, lo and behold, there's a puddle. And I said, oh, reflection shot all day. And this is a shot I got. So. Yeah, I just wanted to keep that integrity of the brightness, which is why I mine super bright. Um, but Hillary, she did her thing with making it really, really moody. So I really like this one. Hillary did a great job. Uh, the next one is by uh, N Nabil Rahman. Actually, I met Nabil at the uh, at UNC. Actually, I was playing flag football and he was out there taking pictures on his uh, Panasonic Panasonic Lumix, I believe he was on. So Nabil is a really cool dude. Um, so for his, you see, he did the same thing that I did in a sense of keeping the integrity of it being bright out. Uh, looks like he cropped it in just a little bit because I'm my, on my picture is showing a little bit more rock down here, but it's still, I, I like it that he, he kept the integrity I think person, well, I, I, I guess you, I can tell you what I personally did because you already saw mine, but I would like to see a little bit more vibrancy in the colors, um, but that's just me. And like I said, take what I say with a grain of salt because everybody's not gonna edit the same way I edit and everybody shouldn't edit the same way I edit. But, you know, I, you know, everybody has their opinions. I have my opinions and don't take my opinions as like, I'm trying to knock anybody because I'm not but I just thought it was fun to do, so I'm doing it. And as you see here, he used the uh, Adobe Color, uh, I just, I can't speak English. <laughs> uh, he used the Adobe Color Profile as well. You see what he did with his sliders, um, his point curve, temperature, and all this. So yeah, um, to be, I'm gonna give you an eight. I'm gonna give you an eight out of 10. So appreciate you uh, doing this editing this and taking part of the fun. 
So this next one is by Demi Derni Dernivaldo Santos. And I don't I have no idea who this is. I guess he was just somebody that happened to be in the community on Lightroom and wanted to remix this because he saw it was cool. Now, the only thing about his picture is that I don't think he edited this at all. Like this looks just like the raw file. Now the, the raw file. If you had, I took the picture, so I mean, if, if you ask me, the raw file had great composition, but there's just, there's a lot that needed to be done with the raw file. And when I'm looking at this, it just looks like the raw file. And actually you look over here, he used the Adobe, Adobe color profile and he only edited the blacks, put a little bit of curve on it a little color mix and a little texture and that was it. So he he's a minimalist. Um, I mean, I would have liked to see a little bit more because I feel like there's a lot that needed to be done with this picture other than just taking the blacks down a little bit. But like I said, that's how I would do it. But um, during it, during it, Valdo, Mr. Santos, I'm gonna give you a, I'm gonna give you a seven. I'm gonna give you a seven on this one just cause I wanted to see a little bit more but thank you for doing that and hopping in on the fun uh the next one is going to be somebody by the name of gilson barela so he did he took or he she they i really don't know um took a similar approach to hillary as making it really moody as you can see here he said dark edition or they said dark edition and you see what they did over here adobe color profile he played with all his sliders here. Um, why is it doing the same thing again? I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. Um, he put a mascara on here, did some healing. Um, yeah. So, uh, why is it doing this? There you go. So he, yeah, he made it dark. Um, oh, over here in the clouds area, the it, i think a, a good masking would have helped because the branches still have that white on them as as it did in the original image because that sky was originally you know white clouds and blue sky but um other than that i mean i like the moody vibe um he kind of kind of zeroed out the colors on this kind of but it still shows some color so they still kind of pop a little bit but I think I would have put a little bit more saturation on this if it was like a moody vibe, um, just so it, the subjects really stand out. But, you know, I do like it. I do like the vision. Uh, I give him a seven, seven out of 10 or them seven out of 10. And the last one on this picture, um, I don't read foreign, so I have no idea, but um, this is their edit. So as you see, they use Adobe color profile so the only thing they changed on this one is the temperature, vibrance, and saturation. So they didn't do anything with the sliders, didn't do any masking, uh, very minimal edit. Um, so with this one, so this cart here was yellow and this cart here was kind of like a reddish orange. But I feel like with this, you know, him or them bumping up the temperature, vibrance, and saturation, they kind of mesh together. Like you kind of see the difference here in the puddle of what the color is supposed to be but the colors don't match from the puddle to the truck. Um, yeah, I just, I mean, I, like I said, everybody's gonna edit differently. Everybody's gonna have a different way of editing and I don't expect everybody to edit the same way as me, nor should anybody expect anybody else to edit the same way as them because we're all creatives and creative beings in our own way. But yeah, I just, I'm looking at these two and I see the colors don't really match and they kind of blend together from the yellow to the to red and the orange. So I think I would have did a little bit more with the sliders, maybe brought some more of the highlights down, um, you know, and, and put some point colors on here and just made those colors pop just a little bit more to differentiate the two. But that's just me. Like I said, take away a grain of salt. So I'll give you a six, whoever you are. But thank you for joining in. So that is all the remixes for that picture. So now I want to go back to this one and so this is a picture that i got of uh, this one here of uh, downtown stanton i actually was standing as you see in the crosswalk 
and I was shooting down and you know, the clouds were in there and I got a lot of the buildings and this red tower in the back is really what stood out to me. I don't love the fact that all these cars are here on the road, but at the same time, like what can you do, you know? So as I hover over this, you see the raw and that's the edit raw and the edit. And one thing about downtown Stanton is that there are a lot of colors and this is a blown up version. There's a lot of colors, like each building had a different color. And so what I really wanted to do was really enhance those and let y'all see like the differentials of the colors on the buildings, because I thought that was really cool that they're all older, but like unique and like, I guess vintage, would you call a building vintage? I don't know. But I, would, I really wanted to bring that out with this edit and I feel like I did. Uh, I wanted to, you know, put some shadows and clouds and stuff like that. So as you see here, I use the Adobe landscape profile. Uh, you see what I did with my exposure, my contrast and my highlights and stuff like that. And this was edited actually using my preset um, Anchorage. This is using my Anchorage preset. I don't sell presets, uh, but I think once I have some more subscribers, and some more people actually following the channel, then I will start selling presets. But, you know, till then, I'm not selling presets. But you can go in and you can save this as a preset if you like it. You can go to my page on Lightroom Community and go to this picture and click save as a preset and then use that on your own pictures. I don't have a problem with anybody doing that. You're not stealing from me, you're not copying me, you just like the way I edit and I take that as a compliment. So you see what I did down here, um, play with the temperature, the tint, the vibrance, you know, the color mixers and stuff like that. Uh, you see down here, I also play with the texture and the clarity and the sharpening. I like all of, all of my pictures to be sharp. And then as you see down here, the mask, I mask the sky and, and play with the shadows and stuff like that. So going into this first picture, we have Stranger To My Heart STH. So you see he did a, or they did a heavy crop, did a he heavy crop in, which was pretty cool. Um, the only thing about this is all the colors are gone, kinda. So you can still tell that the building up on the top right, the, the tower is red, and you can still see some like orange in there, but you know, the colors like just kinda wiped out. But like I said, and I'll say a bunch more times, everybody's gonna edit the same as me but I'm looking at it from my creative lens, so I'm giving my creative critique. So I don't know if I would have cropped in this much because there's still, like if you look at this picture, back, going back to mine, there's still a lot of information here in the foreground before you even get to that back crop area that he's kind of cropping out. So I don't know if I would have did it that much, but I mean, that's me, that's him, so whatever. Um, let me give this a seven. I think it was seven just from my creative aspect. But like I said, I'm, I mean, I'm not perfect. I don't edit the right way, but you know, don't take it as me knocking people or whatever. But you know, somebody's gonna take it as me knocking people, whatever. So I guess seven out of 10. Um, yeah, so let's go into the next one. This was Abhishek Mitra, I think that's the name. Um, so on this one, he cropped also a little bit, um, but he didn't crop too much. He still kept a lot of that information in the foreground, which I like, and he kind of brightened it up. So the colors still stand out. It's not as warm, but you know, that's fine. It was a bright day. There wasn't a whole lot of sun here in this aspect, but I mean, there was some sun, which is, you know, it, my editing style is kind of like a warm. I guess you could say moody. I like making a lot of some things dark also, but I like a lot of my pictures to have like a golden tint on it just because it feels like warm and cozy and fuzzy and feels like thermal socks on your feet in the late night by the fireplace and marshmallows and anywho. So yeah, I, I like this. I like this one. I think that if I was him, I would have done a little bit something with the clouds in here, like masked it and, you know, chained, maybe brought the shadows down or brought the blacks down or something like that, just to give it a little bit more contrast because the, the brightening of the picture here is not a problem. I just feel like now it kind of just blends into the sky. So that's one thing I would have did. But other than that, I mean, this is a dope picture. I like it um, on the Adobe color profile. 
and you see what he did on the right hand side with his sliders. So uh, let's give this one an 8.3. Let me give this one an 8.3. I like it. You'd like to call Darius Bell? No, I don't want to call Darius Bell. Siri? Oh my gosh, what the heck? Um, eight, eight point. So yeah, 8.3. 8.3. Now going into this next one. Okay. Okay, like, let's be for real. Najem Kyla. Let's be for real, all right? All you did, which was different from mine, is nothing. <laughs> like, you took my picture that I already had up here and just posted it as your own remix. And as you see, I'm going back and forth. I'm going back and forth. So you see that there is no change at all. There is no change at all. So I appreciate you joining the challenge and remixing this photo, but at the same time, like, let's be for real. <laughs> like, don't don't hop into a remix and then post the same exact picture. Like, I, you know, I would rate it a 10 because, you know, it's my picture, but you know, it, whatever. I'm not going to give this a grade because <laughs> like, it's, it's my picture. It's my picture, my editing, like, it's the same exact thing. But I will say, I forgot to say in the original picture, I'm gonna go back to mine for a second. So as you see right here in the middle, there's a car and the car door open. There was a guy walking to get in the car and I really wish I would have got that in the shot, but I was a smidge second late and didn't. And I think that really, would have really added some character to this picture, but you know, it's fine. There's also a guy right here. He walked into the frame on the last picture and he was like, oh, I'm sorry for getting in your picture. And I was like, no, I actually like when people are in my picture because it adds a little bit more life to the picture. It makes it more realistic. But only reason why I didn't use that one is because he looked really out of place in this corner. And I wasn't about to like Photoshop in, in the middle or anything like that. So I just didn't use that one, I used this one. But I have no problem, if you see me on the street taking pictures, I have no problem you walking in front of me because Either you're going to be a foreground, you're going to be a subject, and it's just going to add some life to the, to the photo. So I really like that. Um, and then going to this last one. This is by Andrew Mulhauser. So this one, I think, is kind of similar to the second one in a sense of... Let me go back to the second one for a second. And he, uh, not, and so he still kept a little bit of the warmness and also brightened it up a little bit. Still kept the colors there. But it brightened it up so I guess you can see a little bit more of the information that is in the picture. So he used a different color profile altogether, the Artistic 03 profile. And, you know, did a lot of stuff with the sliders here. So this is a nice picture and I like what he did with it. The only thing I would change about this one, kind of like I said in that second picture, is that brightening up the picture kind of makes it blend in with the sky. So I would have masked the sky and probably play with the shadows and the blacks a little bit just to give it some contrast to the foreground and all the information happening here. But I'll give this one a nine out of 10. And I like to edit on this one. So there you have it. I went through, just critiqued all the pictures that I've seen, all the remixes that I have on my page. So if you want to remix some of these pictures, I'll put the link down in my description where you can remix this and you can join my Lightroom community. I'll be posting pictures here. I say probably from now on periodically for people to remix and just so I can see how y'all edit and just to build a community of creatives uh, uh, with creatives and creators. So I appreciate everybody that hopped in here and threw on an edit. You know, I liked pretty much all of them except the one that copied me, but you know, that's neither here nor there. So there's more of that came from and I appreciate all of you for doing this. Thank you for being here. If you're watching till this point, please like, the video subscribe to the channel if you like what you see i'm looking forward to doing some pov photography stuff uh strapping my phone to my chest and going around taking some street photography in march late march i'm going to be in philadelphia and new york city so i can't wait for that i'm going to do a lot of street photography up there and there's going to be videos coming out on that so this channel like i i didn't say it but this channel is i'm trying to get a video out once a week staying consistent on mondays so if you like what you see and you're here for the long haul, drop a like, drop a subscribe. And with that being said, thank you all for being here. Thank you for tuning in to all a good night and to all a good night or whatever they say.